2023, November, December, core mathematics question paper, section B, question number one. The sum of two quantities is Y. One of the quantities varies directly as X squared, and the other quantity varies inversely as X. So if the value of Y is 32, when X is 2, and the value of y is 86 when x is 4. We have to find an equation for y in terms of x, then find the value of y when x is what? 3. So this is a variation. This is more or less like a partial variation. So we are going to find the sum of those two quantities. So since there are two quantities, let us see solution. So let the two quantities one be P and the other be what? Uh, Q. So let's see. So we are going to pick P and Q to be the two quantities. They said the sum. You know, sum is addition. So we are going to say that P plus Q equals to Y. Do you get that? The sum of two quantities is what? P uh, is equals to Y. So the sum is Y. Now, one quantity, so we can pick P or that of uh, Q to be the first one. So since we are bringing P first, let P be the first quantity. So the first quantity varies directly. So this is a var uh, direct variation. So P varies directly as what? Well. The square of X. That's a direct variation. So we can rewrite this into an equation whereby we can have k1, which is the constant of variation, multiplying what? x squared. So this is the, the first equation or the equation for p. Then, and the other quantity, which is the q, varies what? Inversely. So this is inverse variation. So q will also varies inversely as what? x. So writing this is as an equation become Q is equal to K as a constant of variation multiplying 1 become K divided by what? X. Don't forget we are using two different constant of variation because these are two different variations, direct and inverse. So now if we are to say P plus Q is this, this will imply that what is P? P is going to be K1 x squared plus q, which is k to x. That should be equal to y. So answering the first part of the question, we are writing an equation for y in terms of what? k. In terms of x. But you can see this is an equation in terms of x and k. Even k is in two variations, right? k1, k2. So this cannot be the first solution. So we need to know the value of k1, k2, so that if y will just be an expression in terms of x. So when our y equals to the first constant is what? 32. x will be equal to what? 2. So let's substitute this into this very equation, meaning y will be equal to k1, x squared. So we have 2 squared times k1 plus k2 divided by x, which is 2, obviously, right? So let's just say uh, y is given as what? 32. So let's keep that as 32. We are having a fraction of a denominator of 2. So let's multiply through by 2. So in this case, 2 times this will be 64. This is going to be 4. 2 exponent 2 is 2 times 2. Times this 2 will give us what? 8k1 plus k2. That becomes the first equation which is having two unknown variables to deal with. So let's go for the second condition. When y is given as what? 86. x is given as 4. So let's do substitution into our 
original equation. This can be equation one, so two, in that order, anyhow you put it. So whenever I see y, I put what? 86. K1 times what? X squared, and X is 4. So we have 4 squared, K1, then K2 divided by 4. Don't forget X is 4. And in this case also, 4 is the denominator multiplying through all of them. So if you multiply this by 4, you get 320, 24. So we have 344. So 344, this is going to be 16. 16 times 4, I believe that will be 64, right? So 64 K1 plus what? K2. That gives us the second equation. So we are solving equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. So let me just label this as equation 2. So labeling this as equation 2, meaning we are solving the two equations. I can see the coefficient of K2 is 1 and they have the same sign. So I'll do subtraction. Taking the smaller value from the bigger one. So I'll be having equation 2 minus equation 1. So equation 2. That is going to be 344 minus 64. 4 here is gone. 60 there. So you have 280. 280 equals to 64 minus 8. 4 from there, we have 56K1. K2 minus K2, that gives us 0. So K2 is eliminated. So now let's divide by the coefficient. 56, 56. I believe your K1 will become 5. If you divide 280 by 56, we get 5. So the K1 is known, K2 is unknown. So let's put that. I can use equation 1 or equation 2. And I'm picking equation 1. So 64 equals to 8 times what? K1. So that would be 8 times 5 plus K2. So we have 64 equals to 40 plus k2. Don't forget 8 times 5 is 40, right? So in this case, we are going to do subtraction of 40 from both sides. So 64 minus 40 equals to k2 and that will give us another 24. 24 equals to k2. So k1 is known, k2 is known. So therefore, the first question, writing an equation for y in terms of only x without the k1, k2 is going to mean that y equals to, wherever I see k1, I put in 5. So 5 x squared plus k2 is what? 24 over x. So equation, uh, the first part of the question is going to be y equals to 5x squared plus 24 divided by x. We are done with that. I believe you get it. Good. So now the B is asking you to find y. Find y when x is what? 3. So in this case, y will be equals to 5 into bracket 3 squared plus 24 over 3. Do you get that? In place of x, we put in 3 because x is 3 in this case. 3 squared will be 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 5, 45, right? So this gives us 45 plus, if we divide 24 by 3, I believe that will give us 8. So let's have 8. So therefore, y equals to 45 plus 8. That will be 53, right? So I have 53. So in this case, when x is 3, y is 54. And this becomes the equation of y in terms of x. I believe following from the beginning to the end, you followed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like, share, 
and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.